Well, let's get started. We're going to call this a barbecue beef roll or a, a beef sushi. Actually, sushi means uh, vinegar rice or uh, uh, cold cooked rice and vinegar. But first off the bat, we're going to use Selects. It's a, it's a bacon from uh, Oscar Mayer. It has no nitrites, no nitrates, nothing bad added to it. Uh, Gluten free. One of the things though is uh, I didn't make it over to Whole Foods and get organic bacon, but everything else we're going to start off with here is going to be organic. So uh, bear with me for a minute because what we're going to do first is we're, we're going to do our best to get this thing open. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull some bacon out of here. I imagine you could probably use a turkey bacon. Uh, probably wouldn't matter one bit, but uh, we're going to use this because of. The juice from the bacon and the grease from the bacon is going to taste really good on our product here when we're done. So we're just going to lay this out pretty simply and uh, ladies and gentlemen don't try this at home this guy is a professional cook and you're not. Uh, anyway we're going to go ahead and we're going to lay this stuff out. Thank you Jesus. Here we go. Let's throw one more in there, even though we don't need it, but hey, it's all good. I'm going to go ahead and put this, uh, I'm going to put this aside and we'll end up putting it in a Ziploc. Now, here we got organic beef. You can buy this over at Walmart. This is a pound brick that comes in two pound, pound brick. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that going. So what we're going to do is we're going to flatten it out. It's as flat as we can over the bacon. Okay. Here we go. Organic beef. Wonderful taste to it. Watch out, Martha Stewart. Watch out, Rachel Ray. Anyway, let me get this stuff out of here. And we're probably not going to use a whole pound, but we're going to start off and we're going to kind of knead it together and get it all nice and mushy and stuff. And, and we can break it apart and use what we need as we need it. So we're just going to go ahead and start flattening this stuff out. Of course, make sure you wash your hands before you do it. I just changed the oil in the car. I hadn't washed my hands, but hey, that just adds a little extra flavor to it. And it's okay. You know what? Don't kill you. It just makes you stronger. Here, let's go. We'll flatten this out a little bit. Get it nice and flat, and once we once we get it all laid out here, and we can keep flattening it, and we'll keep trying to keep it on our wax paper as we move it up, and, and we can flatten her out like that. And just squish out now. And uh, let's get a little I need to grease on my hands real quick here. Okay. Now we're going to use pepper jack cheese. You can use any cheese you want, but I really enjoy pepper jack cheese in here. And um, hey, let's just have a quick swig of some coconut water, good stuff. Organic and good. It's hydrating. <sighs> Grab some spice while we're at it. Okay, got a little bit of Himalayan salt here. We got a little bit of granulized uh, garlic. And we're just gonna put a little bit in here. A little garlic, just keep the vampires away on it this time. Put that over there. Here's some uh, Paul Perdon's barbecue. That's the secret stuff right there. We're gonna put some bat barbecue rub. Okay, we're just gonna kind of put a little bit, kind of season to taste. Okay, get some Himalayan salt. We'll grind some of this puppy on here. We don't want a lot. Of of course, you know, the bacon's going to make it kind of soft. So, there we go. That looks good. I went ahead and got pepper jack cheese 
already in stick, so now if you're sauce and uh, uh, roll it around in the panko breadcrumbs or the uh, uh, Doritos, the crunch up Doritos. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and start. We're going to make a sushi roll. And again, if you had one of the little sushi ba bamboo thingies, that would work really well, but I don't have one. So you know what they say, improvise and adapt. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to improvise. We're going to adapt. We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll. Look at us roll. Look at that. There we are. Okay, we've got it. Now, one of the secrets here is we're gonna pinch all this stuff together so it doesn't unravel on it as it tries to cook. And I fold the ends in. Okay, fold them in. Because what's going to happen is it, as it cooks on the grill, the cheese is going to want to squirt out and you'll end up with a blank hole, okay? And, you know, you, the whole idea is to have some cheese up in here. So, there we go. There we go. We got the roll ready. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. We got it ready. And, uh... Gonna take a little bit more barbecue. Just kind of have fun with it, man. Just have fun. Whatever you do, just have fun. That's what it's all about. Cooking is fun. Cooking is uh, uh, therapeutic. <laughs> Keeps from going out and hurting somebody. Okay. Well, let's see here. Or you can just poison the food and invite them over. But now my my favorite. Well, you know what? In the Bible it says that uh, you pray for your enemies. And the best part is. Here's what, this is what I just absolutely love. It's like pouring hot coals on it. But anyway, there we are. Why not get it a little more Himalayan salt? Himalayan salt, rich in iodine. For you women that uh, may need iodine in your system, uh, it's a good thing. And uh, we're ready to get ready for the barbecue. Okay, I realized I looked real fat in that other video because of the shirt and just all ballooned out. I don't want to be looking fat, especially if I'm cooking food. You definitely don't want a fat chef. So here we're going to put some sweet baby ready on there right now. Our fire is ready on the grill. We're going to put a little bit of coating on it right now. And then just before it's done, we're going we're gonna to caramelize some more barbecue on it. Okay, we're going to... Just go ahead and squirt some Sweet Baby Ray on there. I do like Sweet Baby Ray. Just the regular old Sweet Baby Ray stuff. Nothing special about it. And uh, we'll get this all lathered up. Nice little coat on there to cook it on. And, yeah, I'm already tasting the deliciousness coming off of it. So anyway. There we go. We're going to toss this puppy on the grill. We're going to walk it right on out on the wax paper just like it is. Okay, saying. here we are. We're just pulled it off the grill. Let's go get it. There we are. That's not the grill. I didn't use the big grill. I used the little grill. But anyway, here we are. Finished product. It did try to leak out a little bit on us. See, and we, good thing we pinched everything shut. We found a little hole right here. A little cheese tried to come out of, a little bit of cheese tried to come out right there. But here's the finished product. It looks really good. Now the last thing we do, and you, like I said, you can take, uh, I'm using uh, panko breadcrumbs, but you can take uh, uh, crunched up Doritos. And roll it around in that. But I've got enough barbecue sauce on here to make it kind of sticky. And this isn't a real necessity. We just add a little mm, to the flavor. Uh, Italian breadcrumbs, tango breadcrumbs, anything would be good. We'll just, just pour some over there and kind of pat it in. There we go. Scrum delicious. There we are. Okay. Well, 
There you are, you got your beef, sushi, roll, beef barbecue roll, whatever. Uh, you can use any kind of cheese, you can use any, any kind of bacon, I'm sure turkey bacon would be okay. Toss it on the grill, approximately 20 minutes, and, and keep putting the barbecue sauce on there. Because me, I, I like the barbecue sauce kind of burnt on there. It's really good that way. Uh, I kind of like to do my ribs the same way, but... Let's take a look at this puppy. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and just slice it right here. Mm -mm -mm. Trying not to make a big mess. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, it's still hot. Cheese is still moving around a little bit, but that's good. Okay. There we are. Look at that. Perfect. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy. Mm-mm-mm. How would Julia, Julia talk? Bon appetit! Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. Delicious. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. And be sure you buy my new, mm, sorry, be sure you buy my new cookbook, um, 21 Ways to Walk Your Dog, that's just a joke, Yan can cook and so can Mike, but this stuff's marvelous, man, I'm going to wolf some of this down and have some stuff to eat after work every day this week, hmm, I'm impressed, mm. thank you.